you hungry? It's time to eat. I am making a spa day. So I'm making a coffee scrub, which is coffee grounds, olive oil. I put some salt in it today too. I usually have manuka honey, but I'm all out of honey. So it's just gonna be good ground. I'm gonna probably add some more jojoba and almond oil as well. And then I'm also going to do a clay mask for my face. Um, so this you can get on Amazon. It's one of my favorite masks. Um, you just dump, dump it in a bowl. Now we're gonna add apple cider vinegar to it and stir. I always do less than more. You can always add more um, apple cider vinegar, but it's a pain in the butt when you add too much and it's too liquidy. So you could use a little more. See, now I'm <laughs> it's so easy to add too much, but whatever. This will be good on my face and skin. Yay. I am going to now put some Olaplex in my hair. I've been doing Olaplex number zero this put on for 10 minutes once a week and then number three on my hair right after that on top of that one for 10 minutes so i'm gonna put the 10 minute one on now and then i'm gonna add the other 10 minute one and then do the scrub and then i'm gonna have a relaxing bath wow self-care who is she okay so we'll start with the olaplex this one's really easy. After I bleached my hair, um, I went from like really nice hair. <laughs> I cut my hair, like I cut half of it off, I cut short, and then I had it bleached. You know how that ends. You know, I don't, I don't need to explain that to you. This is just like the saddest, oops, saddest thing when I like looked at my hair in the mirror and it was like so healthy because I cut it all off. And then we spent like six hours bleaching. And I was like, this is the end. <laughs> <laughs> so since then I've been trying to treat my fucking hella bleach frizzy hair so far it's gotten a lot better I rinse my face I got my hair mask in we're gonna add the face mask and honestly if you're willing the best way to apply this is to take like one of your makeup brushes and do it it's like so luxurious here we go <laughs> treat yourself oh yes I'm gonna Oh my, I'm so decadent. Look at me. Wow. Just get that on. So I don't think the smell of the apple cider vinegar is like not ideal, you know, but working, working on the skin. And this helps with pores. I think the tightness of your skin. Okay, now that I've turned myself into Shrek, about 10 minutes to do this. I'm gonna add the other Olaplex to my hair and then I'm gonna go and convince Luke to let me put the mask on him while he's working. Okay, mold up. <laughs> okay, so let's go take this upstairs and see if Luke will let us do it to him. Can I do this to you while you're on the phone? lately i've honestly just been like pacing the house like i don't know if it's the full moon in aquarius i'm an aquarius um i don't know if it's a full moon but like i feel so charged full of energy and this was like not the case a few months ago like i sat down here i made this big spreadsheet on how profitable um and incredible green burials are and i did this whole thing and maybe i want to actually invest in a crematorium and I don't know. I'm getting pretty deep into this stuff. I'm getting pretty interested into this stuff. And I just, 
I don't know. So welcome to my journey. If you're watching this right now, I really deeply appreciate that you are here. Thank you so much for watching my vlogs, whether you're new or old, we are experiencing a transformation right now. I was talking to my stream, like I am like coming out of my chrysalis right now. I am becoming the woman that I am meant to be becoming and is unfolding life. And I like, I just felt like such like, a goo. I felt like caterpillar goo in the chrysalis with like no form, just sitting there like a little potato, stressing about being a potato and having no energy. But like every time I would drop into meditation or do journaling, I would have this like knowing it's like, Kristen, your body, your mind, your system, you are getting ready to get ready for the next opportunity. Like all the things you're reading about, all the things you're learning, all the podcasts you're listening to, all the people you're meeting, it is all perfect. It is all, you're being set up for this moment and the moments are here and they're happening. And I'm sure there's gonna be many more. So I'm so excited to vlog this experience for you guys. Um, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm gonna be raw with you. I'm gonna be honest and open. Um, Cause I just think that's the way things should be more often. So yeah, I did a little bit of journaling today. Did a lot of talking to different people today to try and get some advice on this project. Um, and yeah, I just saw the opportunity, felt the excitement for it, and just started taking steps for it. So, and it's so funny because it combines so many things. Like I wanted to do a cemetery when I was 17 and I had no idea how to do it then. And now I can actually see how I can make it a reality. Um, but <laughs> my point is like, if there's these little things, I've always wanted to have a wellness center, always. And not like for treating the sick, but like for healing, like everybody, you know, like you can come to it if you're overworked, you can come to it if you're doing great, you can come to it if you are sick and you're just looking for alternatives um, and and ways to deepen your connection to self and community. Like I just, <laughs> it's all perfect timing. It's all perfect. Um, and none of this might work out. None of this might work out, but I'm not gonna stop because I'm learning so much and this joy of the journey is so worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. This is living. Woo, 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 woo. I love you. Okay, see you in a bit. I'm switching gears a little bit now and I'm switching to work on some kitty play stuff because as you guys know, I'm vlogging. Um, so I was just been talking with Holly. Who, hi Holly, you're editing this right now, what's up? And we're working on some video content ideas. Uh, she made a huge list of them, so I'm gonna put them in a spreadsheet and make it look pretty and mark them as completed or not, or yes or no, etc. I love organization, sometimes. Okay, I'm like literally a new person. Like three months ago, I was like, fuck organization. I'm a free bird. I'm going with the flow. The universe is dictating where I go. I would literally like not know where we were flying. We would get to the airport and then I, like uh, someone would say, oh, you should go here and we'd be like, okay, we should go there. Like that's how my life has been for like the last two and a half years. It's just been so in the flow, no organization. So. I do appreciate some organization. I appreciate things looking nice. I love Google Docs. I love being able to share um, information super easily. So I'm gonna work on that with Holly and uh, talk with her about getting these vlogs. So that's first of all, everyone, say hi to Holly. And number two, uh, I would love to hear what your guys' ideas are for content. Like, are, is there anyone you wanna talk me to talk to or interview, any topics you want me to talk about, um, any questions you might have, anything you want me to show, um, yeah, I'm an open book. I would love, I would love to show you guys. I love you. I just went into super powerful, productive, overdrive. I just wrote three scripts, not really scripts, but three scripts for the video ideas, 20 things. And then I learned in my twenties, 20 things I don't buy anymore and 20 things psychedelics taught me. So Pretty hyped about that one. Yuri, let's hang out. Wow, <laughs> it's gonna be a good sunset, hey baby. I just had a great brainstorm with Louisa. Uh, got some work done. I've just been like so focused. I don't know if this is just a manic energy or what's going on, but I'm gonna drink my tea and I'm gonna watch the sunset and work on my Arabic. There's a sound healing.
hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to spank that like button and subscribe it helps out the channel greatly and i'll see you guys in another video bye